everyone, this is Eileen from Eileen Stuffs and today we are going to plan our budget and this will be for the period between January 16th to January 30th. Yeah, January has 30 days, right? Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you have been to my channel, just said the 500 subscriber giveaway is currently going on. It will end on the 25th. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out the 500 subscriber giveaway video, I'll link it in the description below. But if you've been watching me and you really are into cash stuffing and you really want to get started for yourself, I um, will be offering a $25 gift card to Etsy. So you may purchase something. I know there's a lot of YouTubers on here that have their own budget books, their own envelope system. So I really wanted to support the community in general. So don't forget to look at that. We're gonna work on our budget. So I did take do some preliminary things like I did last time and I'll go ahead and zoom you in. There's two important notes. So the first is apparently I got a raise. I just noticed all of a sudden that my pay went up. So that's awesome. That raise is really gonna help. I'm excited about it. And the other thing is I totally messed up on my paycheck. So this paycheck for today was supposed to be near what my paycheck was on the first. I was expecting about 1700, but I didn't turn in my documentation on time. So I didn't get paid for almost like 11 days on my paycheck. So we have a reduced amount today on the plus side that money's I was already set to go on my next paycheck on the first. And if you see my last videos, you heard me talking about how my paycheck on February 1st was going to be extremely low. So now there's almost a thousand dollars that's not on this check that'll be on that check. So that's really going to help me in February 1st. So that, I mean, I guess it worked out in the end, although now we're working with a lower amount today. But that is why this check is so low because I didn't turn my stuff in on time to get paid. But we're going to move on. All right, so today we have the 15th. And our paycheck is $817.75. Now, estimated taxes are also due. Because this is such a low amount, I really don't know how much to take out for taxes. It's I think I'll just take out $117.75. Because that'll just give me an even $700. Let me go ahead and get out my calculator see what we're working with. Okay. So our paycheck is eight seventeen seventy five. We are going to minus one seventeen seventy five for taxes. So that gives us a total of seven hundred plus. I currently have seven sixty three sixty four in the bank. That's my bank rollover. So we have seven hundred dollars from my check plus seven sixty three sixty four in rollover. So let's see how much we are working with today. Is that right? So 700 plus 763, 64. So we have a budget this pay period of $1,463.64. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take off all the bills that I have to pay for this paycheck. I do have to pay my phone bill, the internet comes out, health insurance is, was done. Actually, let me go ahead and that should be in blue. That was the first of the month. And then we have our bills we have to pay here. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug it in. So I have $1,463.64. So right away I have to take off my phone. Can you see the calculator? Okay. My phone is 96.82. So that leaves me with 136.62. My internet is 2250. So 13432. And I'm just going to put that right here. Okay, and then these are the other so the other bills I have to pay. I owe uh, my therapist. I have my last appointment with her and I still owe her $25 because we had to do a phone appointment since I was sick. So I have to I have to bring that to her office. My Amazon credit card is 29. My Capital One credit card is 79. Um, I have another Capital One Quicksilver card, which is 25, which I really wanna get this one paid off and then make it like a business only credit card. 
Okay, we have a QVC credit card, which is 66. That brings me down to 1120.32. Okay, Mercury is like the biggest one. And that does have some shared medical stuff. So if you, were, if you saw my last cash stuffing and budgeting, I had already gotten 200 from my ex. So I actually had, that was part of what was left in the bank if I minused it. So part of this... <laughs> Leftover is actually 200 from him, so that's pretty much going to cover that. So 91963. I have one student loan that is $10. And then I have these easy pays coming out, and I cannot wait till these are done. But that's going to be 8407. Um, I have a Kohl's credit card, which it's saying I have a zero balance. I think I double paid last time because i paid late and there's only like not very i think there's only 40 dollars left on this card so i want to I'd probably be able to pay this card off next month which will be cool but for today there's zero so since i'm working with such a low amount i'm just going to leave it as zero then i also have these two health bills which again i talked about if you see my other videos i had a miscarriage in september so these health bills are from the miscarriage so i have to pay 32 that was for my follow-up appointment and then 186 is from the hospital bill itself. And then I have 25 that I, that 25 I pulled out from my giveaway video, I put it in the bank, so I have that in there. So I'm just gonna take that out because I don't want to. It leaves me with 596.87. Man. Does that seem right? I guess it does because my paycheck was so low. Like I said, I was planning on like a $1,700 paycheck. It's just crazy that my ending balance is less than what I had in rollover. So this is a bummer. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of sad to see this. I just want to double check my numbers real quick, but I know they're probably right. It's just kind of what happens when you get a really low paycheck. One more paycheck to get through the holidays and then my paychecks should go back to normal. I'm, I'm trying to work more and just save. So I'm hoping once I get past this pay period and my next pay period, things should start looking up a little. So I had 700 plus 763, 64. I mean, yeah, I guess that's right. I'll fast forward this part. I just really want to double check. So yeah, I guess so because the total is 866.77, which is less than what I'm paying. So yeah, I take away from rollover. Mm, I'm kind of feeling sad right now, but I know this is temporary. So I guess I just have to keep reminding myself that this is temporary and it should get better. So just to double check, 596.87. Okay. So that's what is left in the bank. I want to leave most of that in the bank I want to think about stuffing just a little bit. So I wanted to, I've gotten like some comments from people that talk about um, the amount I stuff. I do not do a zero based budget, basically budget by paycheck. So each paycheck has its set bills that come out of it. And then I take away from that and then whatever's left over. I'm trying, one of my goals is to work towards always having a thousand dollars in my checking account as the emergency fund. And then ideally, with each paycheck, anything over a thousand is going to be what I pull for stuffing. So my goal is that as things get a little better, now that I have a raise, that's going to help. Now that I'm getting past the holiday hump where I lost a lot of work, that's going to help. I can really be in a position now to work more. And then hopefully as I build that thousand dollar buffer, I'll be able to pull more and more out for stuffing. But for now, the money I stuff, even though it's little amounts, that for me is worth it because I kind of see it as money I might have spent on a random trip to Target or maybe I would have just eaten out a couple times and that money would have been gone, which is what I normally do. So I, I like pulling, even if I only pull out a tiny bit to stuff, for me it's worth it because that's money I otherwise would have not paid attention to and spent. And that's what I'm trying to change for myself right now. That's one of my goals. So that being said, I want to keep, I think I'll just do a nice even. So we have 596 left. Mm, I think I'll leave in the bank. 
Hmm. I'm debating whether I should just do 587 or 506.87, but that doesn't really step in. And let's see what that leaves us with for stuffing. Okay, so 506.87. Oh, wait. Messed up again. Okay, 580. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Sorry, guys. 596.87. I'm going to leave 506.87 in the bank as a buffer. So that gives me $90 to stuff. Okay, so that's a low amount, but I'm not gonna be sad because like I said, I, I should have like a, almost a thousand more, but the next thing I do is now we're going to look at our envelopes. So I'm going to do this part. I'll fast forward through this part and then I will show you. We're gonna see what we can do. So. I had my wallet and then I had a black binder, a pink binder, and a white binder. And I actually had to buy new binders. So I noticed something that those binders I got, the plastic ones in the envelopes, these, I didn't realize they were like PVC, so that polyvinyl carbonate or something. And it was making me so sick. So I was beginning to realize like when I was sitting down, I was stuffing, the smell was like burning my nose, burning my throat. It would make me, I don't know if it's like a sensitivity I have, but I can't stand the smell. Some money, like gift card money and credit money on Amazon. I ended up buying new binders and envelopes that are not that plastic because I just, I can't with the smell really irritates me. So I just, I had to do something. But the plus side is the um, these binders, the star binders I've been using, I'm actually going to be able to return them to Amazon. So I already printed out the return slip and I just have to bring it to UPS. So that's what I'm going to do on Monday. So I'll be able to return those and get my money back, which is great. The other thing I won't be able to return is those plastic envelopes. I mean, I could return them. They were only $8, but the thing is I have the stickers on them. So that I might just, I, might, I don't know what to do with those right now. I actually love those plastic folders. I like seeing the money and I just really like that, but I can't take the smell. And I, I noticed when I was sitting here doing videos, by the end of the videos, I felt like woozy. And I'm like, I think it's that smell. And then it, that would just like permeate in my nose. So I had to take care of my health and get binders and envelopes that weren't made of PVC. I feel okay about it. I do feel like I'm really happy I can return the binder, so at least I'll get some of my money back, but I mean, it is what it is. So the, that being said that these are going to change, one is a black binder. There is a white binder, but instead of a pink binder, I think it's like a sage green. So I'm gonna rename those. Comment below if you wanna see me change out everything. I could do it as a video if you guys would like to see the new ones and see me exchange stuff, or I can just do it on my own. So if you'd be interested in watching that video of me changing out everything to the new system, let me know when I will. I am a little bummed because I did like that stuff, but sometimes you just have to choose your health first. But luckily I was able to get some of the same colors to kind of keep me, keep everything as it is. So the black binder will still be the serious binder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward again. Okay, I am back. So I have my list and this, again, we are working with $90, $90 today. But like I said, I'm okay stuffing just $90 because these are like sinking funds, things I want to save for. And it would be so easy just to take that $90 and just eat out. I mean, I could eat out twice and then it's gone, you know, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm going to check my envelope because that doesn't leave much for groceries, but I know I still have money in here. So I was going to see what I had in here and that way I think I'll, I won't roll this money over again. One day I will start rolling over. So groceries actually has, still has 40 Dollar. 40 for groceries already. And I can just eat really basic for the next two weeks. That's fine. So let's see. How much should I take out for groceries? I'm going to say 30. Because that would give me 70 total, which I think is enough. And the rest I'll just use for my funds. And so we have... 30 for groceries, so that leaves us with 60. I don't really need anything for the household the next couple weeks. I don't have to eat out the next couple weeks. I need gas, but 
since I always go to Sam's Club and they don't take cash, I'll probably just use some of this 500 for gas, which is fine. I'll put in like 20 and then that'll leave me with 486. I'll just do that directly from my bank account. So that would give me 486, 87. And that's that's fine for we're just again, we're only two weeks. I just gotta get through these two weeks. So household won't get anything, eating out no, OT no, car, I'll pull the gas from my account. Beauty, I mean, meh, whatever. Um, I think I'll put 10 in miscellaneous, just like I did last time when I didn't have a lot to stuff. That way I had that just in case. And I could use it for whatever I needed or if I went over. So I'll put 10 in. So that gives me 50. I mean, I think I can be just really frugal the next two weeks and be fine. Whoops, it's getting nothing. Clothing's getting nothing. YouTube's getting nothing. Shopping's getting nothing. Okay, so now we have 50. Priority-wise, the black binder is the biggest priority for me, uh, along with this family one, which is mostly for my mom. So that one is priority as well. For debt, I'm going to put... Five. Okay, let's see. So we're at 50 minus 5. Rent and utilities, I'll put 5. That brings me down to 40. If you are new to my channel and this is your first video, these debt and utility sinking funds are actually just kind of like a stash. So I am saving money in these folders just in case I end up like what happened this time. I mess up a paycheck or I don't get stuff turned in on time or I don't get paid a lot. If I need extra money to pay rent or utilities or debt, I have money in these folders. So these folders are just folders I wanna grow and they're kind of like a buffer or a backup for me to be able to take care of the things I need to take care of. And that's why I'm only, I mean, I'm only doing five, but at least, you know, it's, it's giving five. So down the line that might come in handy because it is adding up. I'm um, gonna say the same medical, I'm gonna give three. That'll be 37. Emergency fund, I'll do three. That's 34. So savings, I mean, not. I'll just do two. And student loans, they are actually deferred again. Maybe I'll just do two, just to give them something. Okay, retirement's getting one today. It's not really on the top of my priority list this pay period. Neither is investing, but I'll give it one. So we got 28. And home is to buy a home. Again, not like top priority, this paycheck, but I'll give it one. So hopefully you can see like the priority. So my biggest priority is my debt, my rent and utilities, and then it kind of goes to saving money for medical costs, saving money for savings and funds and then these things which are important to me but when it's like a low amount like this they kind of fall to the wayside it's going to be the same with these binders so now i'm down to 27. and let me take a look you know i don't i think beauty's going to get zero again clothing's going to get zero shopping is going to get zero Riley's going to get three. Sadie's going to get one. Um, Tara's going to get zero. YouTube will get zero. Giving will get zero. And rollover is just what's in my wallet. So now we have 23. Gifts is getting zero. Christmas is getting zero. Car will just get zero. OT will get zero. House once is getting zero. I did say that no matter what, I wanted to at least add a dollar into travel. So I'm going to give it a dollar. My mom, again, if you haven't heard the story, my mom helped me pay for the retainer for a divorce lawyer. I want to pay her back. So I'm trying to save money. That is a priority. I mean, we're only down to 22 here. So I think I'll just give her two this time. And then once my checks get better, I'll be able to really make better payments on that. I think I'll give two to Secret Stash and I'll give two to Whoops because those are kind of like backup funds, like things I want to have money in. So that leaves me with 16 for challenges, which I will, the dollar and $5 challenge come out of my wallet. So this 16 will then be divided if it's possible to divide it between the 100 envelope and the $1,000 challenge, or I might only be able to stuff one this time, but that's okay. So that 
brings me to zero. What is my budget? I am, um, I don't know, part of me is like, is this even worth doing? And then part, of, and then the other part of me is, yeah, because that's kind of, I feel like my thing here is that, you know, crap happens really. But even if we're really low on money, or do we still have a way to save something, even if it's only a small amount? And I am seeing the difference slowly over time, even though I'm only adding two, three, five dollars at a time it's slowly growing which makes me happy but yeah i'm definitely kicking myself in the butt for not getting my notes turned in on time you can probably hear the disappointment in my voice i'm definitely feeling a little disappointed and mad at myself but i guess I, we just have to move on from here now we have to figure out the denominations and i am totally realizing that i did not bring a piece of paper let me go grab a piece of paper real quick. Now what I'm gonna do is figure out what I need for the bank. I'm gonna, I'll fast forward through this part while I make my denomination chart. Okay, so now we're ready to figure out the denominations I need for the bank. So groceries is gonna get 30, so I'll give it a 20 and a 10. Miscellaneous is getting a 10. Debt is getting a five. Rent is getting a five. Medical is getting three ones. Emergency fund, three ones. Savings two, student loans two, retire one, invest one, home one. Riley is getting three, Sadie's getting one, travel is getting one, Fam family's getting two, secret stash is getting two, whoops is getting two. The challenges are getting 16, and I'm debating doing 16 ones like I did last time I did all one so I could divide it without worrying about big or denominations. So I think I'll do that again. I'll do 16 ones, 10, 15, and 16. Now that I know I'm going to add up, I need 120, two tens, two fives. And let me not count these ones wrong like I did last time. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, 34, 37, 40. So this should all add up to $90 if I did it right. So we have 40 ones plus two fives, which is a 10, plus two tens, which is a 20, plus 120 is, okay, no, I did one. So 70 plus 20 is 90. Cool, so we did it right this time. Nice. Now I'm going to write my little, I have a laminator. I think I, I think I, what I wanna do this weekend and make a laminated sheet for this and this so I don't have to keep wasting paper. It's kind of on my list. All right, so for bank, okay, I'm gonna get out $90. I need 40 ones, two fives, two tens, and 120, which should equal 90. So tomorrow, well, it's the weekend. So I can't go to the bank, but Monday I will go to the bank, I will get this cash out, and then I will film my stuffing video. And I guess that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreci I appreciate your continued support, the comments. Don't forget that I do have my 500 subscriber giveaway going on. I will link that video below. And I did want to, I did put in the video that if you could add your Instagram, if you wanted me to direct message you, but I real, um, someone actually commented in that video that they weren't going to leave their Instagram because of, you know, spammers and privacy. And I honestly didn't think about that. So don't, um, I did put in the guidelines that you don't have to add it, but you know, I didn't think about the privacy thing. So that's my fault. So yeah, please don't worry about adding your Instagram. I'm going to basically comment on your comment if you're a winner and try to get a hold of you that way. But I'm wishing you the best of luck. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if I sound a little bummed out today. I just, I'm really mad at that I made such a stupid mistake. And now I have to wait until my next paycheck to get all that money. But it is what it is. It's only two weeks. I'll get through it and then we'll move on. And thankfully the worst, the 
the holiday checks that are not that great are almost coming to an end. So I'm just hoping that I can work hard the next few months and really start building up and um, kind of move on from here. So thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you the best and I will see you in my next video where we will stuff this money. Bye.